Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I am here with my first layout using the July Hip Kit. I finally pulled it out to start using it. And um, I am doing a layout about going to Mesa Grill in the Bahamas, which my husband and I did when we went on our 10 year anniversary vacation back in 2012. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking a big cue from this kit that has a lot of um, food type embellishments and I'm gonna be making some layouts um, to go into my foodies album, which is a project that I'm um, currently trying to work on. So this was the first one I pulled out, and I used the background paper there is the blue and white polka dot, and that is from October Afternoon, and then the yellow one with the uh, little clusters of five stars is from LA Studio, and then I have um, the red floral background. I think that's crepe paper. Uh, I think it's crepe paper. Um, it came in the main kit. <laughs> and um, so I just um, backed my pictures with that red floral. The red floral is very, um, it's a very busy pattern, so I didn't want to show a ton of it, so it just made a nice little border. You can still tell that it's a floral in the background. Um, and then I wanted to use the yellow five-star paper because it's Mesa Grill, which is Bobby Flay, so automatic five stars right there. <laughs> so I decided to use a big piece of that for layering. And um, I knew I wanted what my title wanted to be, so I went ahead and got it done. And I used the um, Daily Flash alphabets to spell out Mesa Grill. And then I used the Thickers in Adorn for um, In the Bahamas. And that's going to be my full title there. So um, I have the Adorn Thickers there next to me as well. And I had another package from one of the add-on kits from a few months ago. So um, I kind of just, I pulled that package out when I got this kit as well. And I'm going to try to use them, you know, as much as I can from both of them. So I think most of those, I might have used one or two um, from the new package. But I tried to use as much as I could from the old packaging as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing before I finish off my title because I knew I wanted to use this little blue flower cluster. And I'm kind of trying to pick things that not only go with the color scheme, but that are um, a little tropical because this was, you know, it's Mesa Grill, it's Bobby Flay, but it's in the Bahamas. So, you know, the Bahamas is a very tropical place. So um, I kind of took cues from, you know, some of the florals and stuff like that in here. Okay, now I'm going through this LA, LA Studio wood veneer, and this is um, food related as well, so I'm pulling out a couple things. I pulled out um, a little piece that says I give this five stars, which goes along with the background paper that it's on, and then one that says we ate here, and I'm going to put that up there in the top left hand corner. Um, this is also from LA Studio from the same line, and I pulled out a little die cut that says documented, and I'm going to use that just as a little layering tab up there. And so I'm pretty happy with where I put some of this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and get it down while I can. I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive to put down this chipboard because when I pulled up all the chipboard pieces I pull off of here, they come up like that. Like the sticky part doesn't even come up. So I don't know if I just got like a weird um, package or if everyone's is doing that. I'm not sure, but every time I pulled something off of that sheet, it completely like uh, I got the raw chipboard in the back instead of the sticky part. But Either way, I was going to put adhesive on it anyway, so it didn't really matter that much, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get all this stuff here stuck down. Using that uh, really nice gold arrow to point towards the title of the restaurant, the name of the restaurant. And I have this little piece of scrap paper that's very red. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and fishtail it here and then um, use that to house the rest of my title. And I actually really like the way it makes it pop. So I put that there and then it ends up fitting perfectly, so it was great. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my title stuck down here. So um, my husband and I, we have been to Mesa Grill twice. We went once in Las Vegas when we were there for a night. And then this one was actually in our hotel room when we went to the Bahamas. We stayed at the Atlantis Resort. And um, 
in our hotel was a Mesa Grill. And um, when we found that out, when we were kind of doing our research into the resort that we were going to be staying at, we saw that. And that was the first place that we made reservations for when we booked our trip because we were like, that's definitely the, you know, that's the number one place we want to go. So we were really excited. Um, I don't document what the food is in my journaling at all, but I can tell you right now, um, the top picture there is a duck quesadilla, and it was so good. That was our appetizer. And then um, the one on the bottom was my husband's dish, and that was, I think it was a pork tenderloin, I want to say. Yeah, it was a pork tenderloin, and then there's like a little side of tamale, um, like a corn tamale or something along with it. But it was delicious. I believe I had some sort of seafood. Um, I just kind of took the best pictures that I had. We took a ton of pictures of our food, but those were kind of the two best ones. So um, those are the ones I chose to put on this layout. But oh my gosh, the food is absolutely delicious. We are big Bobby Flay fans for sure. Okay, so um, I was kind of struggling to figure out what else to use on here because I only got the main kit and um, I was a little bit struggling for embellishments. So I kind of looked around on my desk and I had these little word strips from my Week in the Life kit. They're still sitting on my desk, so I pulled out a few of them to use. Um, the top one, I think, says No Way. Um, and then um, the one underneath that says This Happened. Um, the one underneath that says This Was a Good Day. And I believe this, this one right here I'm putting down, it says, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this a blank. And I'm going to write 20 on there <laughs> because that's how good the food is at Mesa Grill. So I'm going to go ahead and get those stuck down and also this wood veneer. And um, I think I'm going to add a couple of these red hearts from this um, enamel dot sheet from October afternoon. I'm going to add three down here. And I believe I'm going to start getting frustrated here because I don't feel like it's finished at all. I haven't done my journaling yet. I'm not even sure where I'm going to do my journaling quite yet. Um, but I'm writing 20 right there. And I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and just kind of rack my brain because I'm not sure where I want to take it. I'm trying to keep as close to the kit as possible because um, I did this page to apply for the hip kit design team and one of the um one of the requirements for your application was that you had to make a page specifically for the call so it's like a brand new page so that's why i did it and i'm i'm kind of at this point feeling like it's not good enough um so and even if i wasn't applying i still would not feel like it was finished i feel like it's not done i know it needs more but i'm not sure exactly what to do. I don't want to clutter it up too much because the background papers, I love them so much. I don't want to cover them up very much. Um, I'm trying not to stray too far from the kit and I'm just kind of not really sure where I want it to go and I found myself getting frustrated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up turning off the camera and kind of walking away for about a day. And then when I do come back and finish it, I do it off camera because when I when I came back, I still wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do, so I kind of just took my time with it, and um, I added some more things and kind of brought it all together, which I really, and I really do like it now. Um, but I just, I decided to do it off camera because I felt like it was maybe a little bit less pressure for me personally to do it that way. Um, but yeah, so um, I am going to step away for a few, like I think I stepped away for about a day and a half or so and then came back to it and I ended up finishing it up off camera. And um, I'm going to be back here in just a second where I will do um, some talking about what I did. I'll show you what I did and explain kind of why I made those decisions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll be back in just a second.
Hey guys, okay, so I I went ahead and finished this layout. I went ahead and did it off camera though because I kind of found myself getting really frustrated with it and I wasn't loving where it was going. Um, I did this layout after kind of taking a little bit of a break from scrapbooking, so um, it was kind of one of those getting back into it things and I found myself getting a little frustrated. So I decided to turn off the camera and, and walk away from it for a day or two and then I came back and I was able to finish it and I'm really happy with how it ended up. So um, I'm going to try to remember what I had done on camera and off <laughs> because I uh, I did this um, last week. But I, I put a piece of red cardstock behind it and I think that kind of helps um, bring it all centered because you know this this background paper while it's awesome it is very busy and it you know the polka dots go off the edge and everything so um the putting this piece of cardstock behind it kind of helps center it a little bit um i did put these little flip flops here from the um the crepe paper poolside chipboard and i just like the flip flops because it not only brings in the red and the blue um but you know, this is Mesa Grill in the Bahamas, so I thought that kind of brought it in there because it, you know, it was a tropical location, so I thought that worked out really well. Um, I did my journaling here as well. I don't remember if I did that on camera or not. Um, I added a geotag here in Atlantis Resort on the bottom. I'm not sure. I might have done that off camera as well. This geotag is from Twine and Ink, and that did not come in the kit. That's from my stash, but then I did use the... Um, the daily flash letters to do Atlantis Resort. Um, this heart, I think it was here originally, and I moved it over here because I had the geotag down here, and it was kind of a little, a little awkward, so I moved it up here. And I think that that is it um, that I did off camera. So while I, while I did get a little bit frustrated with this one, when I did walk away for a day or so and then came back to it. I feel much better about it and I, I actually really do like it now so that's good. Um, I didn't do a picture selection for this kit because I kind of pulled it out on a whim to do this layout because I actually made this layout to apply for the hip kit design team. So um, I, I did the layout and then kind of realized I forgot to do a picture selection because I haven't touched my kits in a couple of weeks. But basically what I've done is this has you know it does have like beachy type you know embellishments and things like that but it also has a couple packages of like food related items so what I did was I pulled my pictures for my foodies album and that's kind of what I'm going to be mainly pulling for this including I'm going to do a title page for my foodies album with it as well so that's kind of going to be my main focus so um and then anything else that comes out of it, I'll just explain as I go along. But my main focus for this one, because of all the food stuff that's in it, is going to be for my foodies album. And this is going to go in that one here. But um, yeah, that's kind of it. So I just wanted to explain it. Um, part of my voice, I'm, a, I'm getting over being sick. So I'm kind of, I'm still a little froggy right now. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you the finished layout here. I don't have any close-ups um, pictures because I have finished it. But um yeah, so I'm going to continue working on this layout, or I'm sorry, continue working on the July kit here, and um, I'm kind of hoping to take this week to really catch up on some scrapbooking. Um, I've been not really in a slump, but just not making scrapbooking a priority right now, and I need to change that. So I'm going to take this week and kind of just bust out some really good stuff and um, just get back in the creative mind again. So, all right, that's it. Thank you guys for being patient, and I promise I'm going to have more videos coming up for you really soon. So have a great day, guys. Bye.